I'm on this uh, Penang eating binge. I'm gonna just put shit in my mouth all day, all night, until two o'clock tomorrow when I run back to Phuket. On me? Yeah. Good. No, let's see. Put it together, Mama. Uh, yeah. Good. Let's do it. I have one. One act? Yes. Dang. Ah, oh, the noodles. God bless her. So good. Chicken, egg, bean sprout. Oh, it's hot. And you know when it's hot, I like hot soup. It pulls me right down. Let's get the chef over here and see if she can tell me a little bit about it. Mom, come here for a second. Will you say how it's pronounced? Okay, me. Okay, me. Ah, yeah. Very good. What's in it? Tell me. Egg. <laughs> Chicken. Chicken. Okay, more chicken. More chicken food. No chicken. Pork. 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 No chicken pork. No chicken. No chicken. Mama, Just you only tell me chicken this is pork. Side, this one prawn. Yeah. <laughs> this one egg. Pork. Egg. Oh, that's pork, pork, not egg. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one yeah. prawn. Prawn, prawn, prawn. This one prawn. Onion, onion. Onion, onion. Onion. Yeah. And what's mm. that? Chili. Chili, mix in. Mix here. Yeah. There's both fat and thin noodle going on here. I'm going to show you that. You'll see the little noodle with the fat noodle. It's hearty. It's doing its job. Both noodles are great. And I, I kind of do like them together. It's a weird sensation of sucking a fat one and a thin one in at the same time. Slightly chewy. You guys know I'm a big fan of egg. And it works well with the fishy soup. Shit has a bang. And the funny thing is, uh, I sat down, I was a sweaty hot mess. It cools you now. It's weird. Oh, I'm so lucky I stopped to have this. Ooh. Ooh. I like the slickness on my lips, the greasy of it, the greasiness of it. Napkin, very good, very good. Napkin, weep, weep. You have? Napkin, whoop, whoop, whoop. She's laughing at me, she doesn't get napkin. The street food here in Penang is no joke. I love street food. That's true. First of all, I got a drink I've never seen before. 100 plus, I'm hoping it's not an energy drink. It's not, it's actually delicious. It tastes like grapefruit. And then, give me a little shot of this. They're little pastries. And I think the majority of them are pork. And you know I love pork. The crust is really crusty. Very uh, crunchy and flaky. And the pork is sweet. There's almost like a jelly-like texture to it. Penang, Malaysia is not messing around when it comes to street food. They're like little individual chefs them in their little space on the street. I'm putting it out there for the world to eat. Like, honestly, what more can you ask for? This one's gonna be pork filled too. Sesame seed crust. It's like the fig newton of pork. It's not bad. The other one was better. Look at this man pajama. Looks like an empanada. It almost tastes like uh, cinnamon with sugar mixed together. It's exactly what it is. This one's good. 
crispy, crunchy, tender, flaky crust. Hot pockets. It really is though. I like the first one the best. This one's second and the other one third. Don't be fooled, kids. Some of the best food, street vendors. I'm saying it a long time. I don't want to fill up because I want to keep eating other stuff, so stay tuned. Oh, kids, it's raining tonight. It's terrible. I'm in uh, Penang, in Georgetown, in Malaysia, at their outdoor food market, which is incredible. I think it would be a lot more fun if it wasn't raining. And today I'm going to try uh, to eat a century egg for the first time. They're pretty intimidating looking. They kind of look like black jelly. I'm not sure how they're made. I'm going to look into it later. There you go. Check it out. I do love eggs, so I have a feeling I'm going to be kind of cool with this. So let's try it. You know, I think I'd like it. The reason why I say I think is because um, the ginger is really overpowering. Let's try it again. If you look, it's like a jellied egg. It's like if an egg turned to jelly. Look at that. Oh, there's a good shot of it. That's your egg. Absolutely. Look at this little bowl. I think it's pronounced a Sam Alaska. But I think I probably did a really poor job on pronunciation. All right, so let's see what's going on here. It definitely looks like there's some heat involved. A Sam Alaska. It's like a sweet and sour thing. God, I just had a nice little chunk of pineapple. There it is. There's some pork. Nope. It's some kind of fish. It's a sweet and sour fishy soup with very thick, very thick noodles. Look at those noodles. Cilantro. <laughs> Give it that clean blast. There's some hot peppers in here. More fish. Onion. And mint. Almost kind of like Thai in a way. This place must be insane when uh, it's on full tilt when it's not raining and all the vendors are open. It's Thursday night. Looks like like half the vendors are open and because of the rain, like no one's here. For me, it's beneficial. I mean, I'm not complaining. Could walk up to any stall, ask questions, get answers I don't understand and uh, move on. All right, back to the broth. But this, I'm more about the broth than anything else. The broth is, uh, it's rich, it's fishy, it's uh, spicy. That clean aftertaste of cilantro and the uh, bang and mint. Oh, I wish it wasn't so crappy tonight. It's not gonna stop me from eating. So here I am at the night market. My last day, I've eaten so much today, and I'm having, Ice cacan. Ice cacan. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Ice cacan. Which looks amazing. <laughs> it's everything you want in life. In a bowl. There's a very good beanie taste. Vanilla ice cream. Sweet corn. Ah. Sweet cream corn. Oh, I love corn. Beans. Sweet beans. Some kind of pink, pink ice. It tastes like bubble gum, the pink ice. The further you dig down, the more interesting it becomes. How are you? <laughs> the only thing that pulls me away from food are these pretty ladies. And if they pay attention to me, I stop eating and lose my concentration. I ate a lot tonight, but it was worth it. 
The bubblegum ice thing kind of throws me off a little bit, to be honest. It's like a soupy mess now. Check this out. Uh, running around, spending ringgits on food, century eggs, all kinds of noodle soups. What a wonderful 36 hours. Uh, I wish I had more time in Padang. Definitely going to make it back to Malaysia. It's a cool place to hang out. Subscribe. 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 Subscrib